Hi everyone, this is Trendsetters Academy. So if you really want to learn more things about Trendsetters or how their developers are developing the applications and how they are creating some sort of web applications or server side coding, everything about the development. So for this, you must click on the subscribe button for this. I hope so let's come back to the words the lecture so today we will talk about performance monitoring what really this performance monitoring is and how this firebase is handling this performance monitoring how this thing is working around let's see talk about this documentation just click on this documentation and we will see what really happening here as you can see the thing here gain insight into your apps performance okay so you can find the documents there so there is a thing here you can keep your app fast and responsive get insight into how your app performs from your user point of view with automatic customized performance tracing so you can watch this video and you will figure it out how this thing is working and how this thing is going on so there are two os or ios and android so there are sdks present about firebase performance sdk is present for ios and android you can embed them in android and ios so here is the thing about the first module use traces to get performance context using custom traces you can understand the context in which performance issues take place and more easily address them you can also make use of automated traces like app startup time so uh, like your app is some sort of registration so how the registration is going on behind the scene uh, behind the screen what it happened is uh, it's going on register and just send the request towards the server and in front of you what it happened is it just uh, some sort of loader bar there and just uh, debugging debugging and debugging uh, that's quite odd thing so what's the performance behind that stuff uh, it just shown on this so you can find the thing here uh, like this is the performance thing how the thing is going on there are you can keep your eye on network behavior what really the networks are there what the users are fine what the users uh, what to say what the users uh, networks are okay so understand the network latency affecting your users with or automated monitoring of HTTPS requests you can trace response times success rates payload sizes and the time spent waiting for the payload versus downloading it so you can find out the thing now what really the user is using the Wi-Fi some sort of 4G some 2G or 3G stuff or some sort of uh, light stuff whatever the thing is there you can find out by using this performance firebase performance thing so you can uh, use you can pinpoint the origin of issue so you can find out what the issue is, is by delaying the thing is by the country uh, by the device or by the version what really the thing is there so break down both traces and network data into dimensions like app version country device and os level to get the bottom of the issue so what really the issue is there you can find out the thing here so let's uh, discuss about the document what really the document is and what are the details stuff is present there what really this performance thing is so let's see just click on this and you'll see what really the firebase performance monitoring is so firebase Mo uh, performance monitoring is a service that helps you to gain insight into the performance characteristics of your ios and android apps you can you use the performance monitoring SDK to collect performance data from your app and then review and analyze that data in the Firebase console. Performance monitoring helps you to understand where and when the performance of your app can be improved. So that you can use that information to fix performance issue. So that's awesome. So there are the things that are present uh, as I told before the iOS and Android SDKs are present you just go on and download it we will figure out the things there uh, later about the development stuff okay we will create some sort of application some sort of registration we already created in our previous lecture so you can see there so we will add this uh, Firebase performance there okay and we will see how this thing is working 
so there are some key capabilities you can find out there automatic mayor app startup time HTTPS network request and more okay so when you integrate the performance monitoring SDK into your iOS and Android app you don't need to write any code before your app starts monitoring several critical aspects of your app performance startup time running data by screen activity while in the foreground activity while in the background and HTTPS network request so here's the problem you solved like uh, what you really need you just embed your, this SDK in your application and you really don't need to write any sort of code for this it just uh, get it the things automatically and just get it like uh, there's some sort of HTTPS request or whatever the other services are there foreground services or the background services how they are mirroring and how their thing is working so their algorithms are present there behind this uh, performance stuff so let's see what the next thing is gain insight into two situations where app perform could be improved optimizing the performance of your app can be challenging when you don't know exactly why it failing okay Falling short of user expectation that's why performance monitoring lets you see performance matrix broken down by country device app version or and os level and os level so here you can understand you can understand the problem uh, only when you see the problem okay here you find out what really the issue is why your app is failing and why the users are not getting uh, in touch with the app why the thing is happening and where is really the issue so you can find the thing here like in this performance uh, dashboard stuff so you can find really awesome it's working pure fine Millions of applications are using their Firebase performance to, pro to verify their application and find out the thing is going fine. Customize performance monitoring for your app. You can create traces to capture your app's performance in specific situations like when you load a new screen and you can create custom matrices to count events that you define like a she hit during those traces okay i hope you understand this thing it's like about the performance thing so let's see how this performance is working there's description present here how this thing is working so performance monitoring is available for ios and android apps that include the performance monitoring sdk performance monitoring monitors traces and https network request in your app a trace is a report of performance data captured between two points in time in your app when installed the performance monitoring SDK automatically provide app start traces which measures the time between when the user opens the app and when the app is responsive it also provides app in foreground traces and app in background traces to give you insight into how your app performs when in the foreground or when idle to learn more about these types of traces see this fiber performance monitoring automatic traces so you can find out the things here you can also configure custom traces a custom trace is a report of performance data associated with some of the code in your app you define the beginning and end of custom trace using the API provided by the performance monitoring SDK. A trace can be further configured to record custom matrices for performance related events that occur within the scope. For example, what will the example here? Just, uh, just concentrate on this example and you will find the thing fine. Just concentrate your concept, uh, just concentrate on this example. Your concept might be so clear about this thing. You can create a custom metric, okay, for the number of cache hits and misses, okay, or the number of times that the UI become unresponsive for noticeable period of time. An HTTPS network request is a report that captures the time between when your app issues a request to a service endpoint and when the response for that endpoint is complete. For any endpoint that your app makes a request to the SDK will capture several matrices. So what will it capture and what really the things are there? So first thing is response time, second is payload size and third is success rate. So response time, in response time what it say, time between when the request is made and when the response is fully received. Okay. And in payload size, byte size of the network payload downloaded and uploaded by the app. A success rate percentage of successful responses compared to total response to mere network or server failures. For both traces and HTTP as network requests, you can see performance monitoring data categorized as follows. So here are the traces, here are the things, how these things are uh, getting in sequences. Like first thing is the app version, then the country, device, OS, 
radio and carrier the these might be waves the traces how uh, where's the so if there is some sort of any issue where really the issue is happening on some sort of uh, signals issues uh, the issues in app code in uh, foreground service or background service or what really the happening is there everything is noticing here okay so the http if there if the, you are creating some sort of app which is some sort of https network request so uh, what it show app version country device os radio carrier and mime type okay so i hope you understand this thing uh we'll see further about this uh, what really the happening is there so here are some code is available like if you want to implement the things there there are some implemented methods are present here add the performance monitoring sdk to your app okay fine the first step is here at first you must uh, add the sdk the second thing is uh, just define custom traces and matrices if you really want to define your matrices and if not no issue with this because this is second step is optional and the third step monitor performance data in the firebase console let's see how this monitoring is working okay so this is the thing how this thing is working what will the user data here is you will see performance monitoring does not permanently store any personally identifiable information such as names email address or phone number okay so we're not storing any sort of personal data okay while monitoring HTTPS network request performance monitoring uses URLs not including URL parameters to build aggregated and anonymous URL patterns that are eventually persisted and shown in the Firebase console for a full list of data collection by performance see data collection so we will see next uh, in our next video what really these data collection and what really uh, are the next steps about getting things so I hope you understand this thing don't forget to subscribe so thank you so much have a nice day uh, happy coding and goodbye Ta bye bye